Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Reagan. I do makeup subscription boxes along with doing some makeup tutorials and other things makeup and beauty related. I am today what I'm going to do is the where I follow a Instagram photo um, look. Now I actually had found this originally on Pinterest and then I went and found the, the artist that actually did it on Instagram and she really has some amazing work. So I definitely recommend uh, you looking at her, her stuff that she has done previously, but um, it is Magnified Beauty is the Instagram name. And the one that I'm going to be going over is actually using a palette that you don't see being used too often anymore. And it's a shame because I really love this palette and I think it is great for the whole uh, starting of spring kind of colors. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Electric palette. Um, now this is a very vibrant uh, it probably would be better for summer I guess you could say but I still see these as being spring colors as well so this is what I will be using today and one of the things that I like about uh, her Instagram is she includes the let me get it to focus there but she includes the steps that she takes down in the description so it makes it a little bit easier for you to find um, figure out how to do the actual makeup look now obviously mine is not going to be completely exact to hers because we do have different shaped eyes um, and that goes for any uh, tutorial that you follow it's not going to always be exact uh, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started so um, I'm just going to go by pretty much because I have relatively everything other than I'm not going to be using the NYX Cosmetic Studio liner in black. Um, I will be using my Kat Von D uh, tattoo liner because that's my preference. I also, I don't wear false lashes. Um, well, I say, I won't say I don't, but I very rarely will wear false lashes. It's only like on special occasions that I will go through that hassle. Um, so I will just be using my big Bad Girl Bang from Benefit Mascara. Um, it does enough of an effect for me that I don't need the lashes. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started here. So the first thing that it shows that she uses, she uses the Jumbo Liner in Milk from NYX Cosmetic all over her lid. Um, I do have that. It's actually something that I've always used whenever I'm using the brighter colors. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this put on the lid here. Now I did um, put down tape right here on both sides just for the simple fact that I like to have a very clean line there when I'm done with my makeup. Um, that's just a preference for you. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Now I'm just gonna blend that in uh, just using my finger. Alright, so now that we have the base down, uh, let's see here, the next step is we are going to use the green shade called Freak and we're going to apply that over the lid. So I'm just going to use my ColourPop uh, brush here, it's just a kind of a flat brush there too that's really good for packing colors so that's what I'm going to use to put down on my eyes and we're only going to do this about halfway because we are going to be adding other colors So now that we have the green down, looks like the second shade that we're going to do 
is the Gonzo, which is the blue. And that's gonna go on the outer lid. So actually let me add a little bit more green. Um, because she does go a little bit further out than I thought. So we'll go ahead and get that done real quick. All right, and I'm gonna use the same brush and we're gonna go into uh, this one here, which is Gonzo. And we're gonna do that on the outer corner of the eye. Add a little bit more green just to kind of blend the colors together there. All right, let me get this other eye. And again, with the green there, just to blend them together. All right, so this is what we have so far. Now the next color we're going to use is, let's see here, so we're going to use the pink shade, well it's really kind of a pinky purple I guess, um, jilted, uh, we're going to do that over the crease and blend it, so let me get my we're gonna actually use, let's go with this one. This is my Coastal Scents BRC N06 blending brush. We're gonna just dab that in there. Then we're gonna put this in the crease. So that's what we got so far. Then the next one is we're going to use the purple color Urban, and that is going to go directly in the crease. So I'm actually going to use my Coastal Scents BRC N09, which is just a like a more dense kind of blending brush. So that way we can get a more precise line there. Do a little bit of blending with that. Yeah. All right. So now that we have that done, we're gonna do a little bit of um, this kind of yellowy, yellowy green color here called Thresher. We're gonna actually do that for the inner corner of the eye. I'm gonna use the uh, vintage step one brush that I got in my boxy charm. That one should work good. All right. All right. So then it says to use a white eyeshadow uh, to blend under the brow. So I am going to be using the Wet n Wild um color iconic shadow in sugar let me see here which brush do i want to use for that uh i don't think this one's been used yet has it yeah so this is by brc in 08 from coastal scents so i'm just going to use that one to blend the white above the brow So this is what the top of the lids look like. What I'm going to do is go off camera, go ahead and finish the rest of my face, then we'll come back and do the under eye and see how the finished look is. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right. So for the most part, I have everything done. Still need to put my mascara on, but I want to go ahead and with the lower lash line, what we're going to do is we're going to put Gonzo um on the bottom lash line so i'm actually going to use the brush that comes with the palette to do that 
So I'm just going to get a little bit of gonzo on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put my mascara on. Okay. What I'm going to do to finish this off is I'm going to put this uh, Lord & Berry black eyeliner, dark black, in the waterline. And we're going to use the Seraphine from Anastasia Beverly Hills on the lips. Alright, so here is my finished look. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can really get a close eye on what I have there. Now again, like I said, this will not be completely exact to hers due to different shaped eyes and blending techniques. However, I think I did a pretty good job um, recreating her look. So I will put um, link her Instagram page down below um, and all of her information. So if you would like to uh, look at some of her other uh, things that she has done because like I said she is incredibly talented and definitely feel like she needs a little more attention uh, to her work. So I want to thank you for watching. If you have not already please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you will be reminded the next time that I upload. I am looking to have my upload schedule being on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I hope you liked uh, this spring look that I came up with or not really came up with uh, that I recreated. Um, from the Instagram of Magnified Beauty. Uh, so you have a great day.